Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for a moment of silence. Today on HNG News, we'll be going over the weekend weather, 2025 SUCO interest meeting, with the FFA state convention results and more. Today is Friday, April 5th, and you're watching HNG News. I'm Allison Torres and I'm Emily Sanchez. Here are your morning announcements. Are you interested in being part of student council for this upcoming school year? Join us Tuesday, April 9th at 1.30 p.m. in room 820 for more information. Hope to see you there. Our spring carnival is April 23rd. Are you interested in going? Clubs and CTSOs, please scan the QR code to sign up to be a part of it. Hope to see you there from 1.30 to 4 p.m. Tuesday, April 23rd. It's the last carnival for the seniors, which is really sad because I'm really going to miss some of them. I know, I am too. But before they go, they should fill out the senior spotlight form. If you want to be spotlighted on NWCTA underscore Hawks Instagram, make sure to fill out the form. Don't expect to see it right away. Wait at least a week to see it up. We here at HMG are really going to miss the seniors after they graduate. Speaking of graduations, I hope the weather is good that day too. I don't really know what the weather is gonna, will be like on graduation day, but Abigail knows what the weather will be like this weekend. Let's go look at the weekend weather. Hey Hawks, I'm Abigail Marin here with your weekend weather. Starting off today, it's looking to be a high of 60 with a low of 41 and mostly sunny skies. On Saturday, it's supposed to be sunny with a high of 67 and a low of 45. And lastly, on Sunday, it's looking to be partly cloudy with a high of 70 and a low of 51. That's all for now, Hawks. I'm Abigail Marin, back to the desk. So I guess weather is looking pretty nice this weekend. Yeah, I guess. I just can't get over the fact that the seniors graduate next month. I know. Speaking of the seniors, are you a senior and interested in singing the national anthem at graduation? Scan this QR code and fill it out. Due next week, Friday. You know what comes right after graduation? Summer! YMCA is offering summer jobs starting at 13 an hour for lifeguard and 12 an hour for camp. Scan the QR code or go to the website to fill out the application. But before looking into the super exciting summer, let's look at our amazing FFA placement results from state competition. Congratulations to our first place achievers and our second and third as well. Way to go, Hawks. It's almost that time. Time for what? What time is it? It's time for lunch. Just kidding. Prom royalty. Juniors and seniors, please vote for your prom king, prince, queen, and princess. Your winners will be announced at 9 p.m. during prom. Good luck to all our candidates. Speaking of prom, we have the prom assembly after school today. Join us for fun performances, games, and royalty announcements. You know what, happen what else happens after school? Sports. Let's go to Dylan with Sports Court. Hello, this is Dylan Whittemore, and today on the Sports Court, we have for you. News and scores for the women's and men's basketball Final Four matches that will happen Friday, April 5th. So let's get right into it. Starting off, we have Iowa versus UConn. Iowa's generational superstar, Caitlin Clark, as she is based off her biggest challenge yet in UConn. We still expect her to win, but UConn won't go down without a fight, as they are the best college basketball program in the world right now. Our last Final Four matchup in the women's division is South Carolina and NC State. South Carolina feels destined to play Iowa in the finals, Look out for NC State to play a big spoiler as they were a shocker and a massive upset to be in this spot. Anyways, expect them to try and continue their Cinderella story. Our first Final Four matchup in the men's division in NC State versus Purdue. Purdue feels destined to win the men's title, but late rising superstar DJ Burns expects to play a spoiler as NC State has massive underdog energy forming on their team. Our last men's Final Four matchup includes basketball, U and UConn, as they feel destined to make the finals in Alabama, whose number one seed is trying to successfully career the program to a rare finals appearance. This was Dylan Whittemore with Sports Court. Thank you for watching, and back to the desk. Hey, archery is a sport. Archery Club and Miss Wiseman would like to congratulate Ryan Miller and Kaylin 
Sylvia on qualifying for NAS Nationals in Salt Lake City later this month. Way to shoot, Hawks never miss. With that, thank you for watching this edition of HMG News. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at hawksmediagroup.news. And follow us on Twitch at HMG underscore Twitch. You can also catch up on previous episodes on our YouTube at HMG News. I'm Allison Torres. And I'm Emily Sanchez. Have, Have a, a great, great day, Hawks. Hawks.